I was trying to say, Angie, I read your comments, of course, about high seas. But why in the hell would I want to watch YouTube? Ugly people that horrify me, that are overeating, that catfish, they don't look anything like their pictures. Why in the fuck would I want fake friends or fake people to watch? I can just go on an Oriental person or Indian person, anyone's channel. My friend Carolina, uh, <laughs> Vanessa, anybody's channel, and watch real people, how they really look. Not being catfished constantly. I can go to MT, and he is what he says he is. He's not faking a job or faking working out. He's a real deal, and he's like model material. I'm trying to, I just want something to uplift me. I have model material. <laughs> I don't want to look at someone who's emaciated or has cracked out teeth or all sorts of problems that I can't help with and make me depressed. <laughs> That's all. Yeah. And why do you care, Angie? What I post. Clearly, I'm not a drug addict, and I'm doing a lot better than your life, okay? I don't have a history of drug addiction, and doing all the stuff you did it is town sounds horrifying. I listened to one of them. Of course, you guys were all accusing me of heist, being heisties, which is very insane. I lost all respect for all of you, you know? So, you seem to be my biggest fans because you keep watching me. <laughs> and so, here we go. You guys could be the, the narc watchers that watch the star. <laughs> That's what real people that aren't drug addicted or ex-druggies or alcoholics, okay, that aren't cracked out or on meth or on cocaine, you know, don't have a bunch of addictions, just normal people, for God's sakes. Without 50 fucking mental illnesses. Without all of that stuff. Normal people that are inspiring. That are nice to look at. That are trustworthy. That have a heart. That are kind. That are soft when they need to be soft. And tough when they need to be tough. But not vile and disgusting like you can be, Angie. I've just seen you vile and disgusting in your ex-drug addict. Why is that appealing? <laughs> you know what I mean? All that damage the drugs do to your body. What are you going to look like in 10 or 20 years? God help me. Run away. <laughs> you know? And it's like the cracked out uh, misfits. The misfit group. See, you have the popular kids and then you have the misfits. I've always been the lonely, the popular, where people just come to me and they want to be my friends, okay? And they don't want to drag me into their problems. Because once people that come out, the outsiders, they start talking to me, I avoid. That's my new thing with with Eddie. Instead of ignoring, ignoring and being rude, I just avoid them. I see them coming. I hide down, duck down, and get out. Get the fuck out of there. <laughs> get someone with, you know, decent money that's not broke off their ass where they can't afford toothpaste. So broke that you have to do everything for them all the time. It's draining and it's time. And I give those people up. This, yeah. Anyway, this is where I got to this tour books yesterday. And, uh,. I gave the Starbucks frap to Justin. Here we go. And he got one of the pops. I'll show you the pops. They're really cute. <laughs> so normal friends with, with money and have nice things that are decent and fun and uplifting. God, I'm so tired today. I want some, look at someone with high energy. Now I drink my energy drink and I'm like, woo! And get energy and fired up. Okay. I look good. Mm. Don't put me on shitty diets or try to control me or tell me to take pictures of the gym. 
I ain't going to the fucking gym, okay? <laughs> Hallelujah. I've been so free lately. <laughs> Look at the pink. A little salt on it. Hallelujah. Look at this drink. Right here. Raspberry lime. Look at the little Starbucks. And we got, oh, this looks really good. Or, or 